Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordan with PictureMonk.com and have you ever wanted to make a really, really detailed version of an HDR photo? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that and it's basically called a 32-bit HDR photo. Uh, and the way, you need to, the way you need to do this is just to have Photoshop and some sort of uh, editing program that will handle a 32-bit image, so Photoshop or, or any current version of Lightroom. Uh, it's really easy to do and it'll basically allow you to have a whole t a whole lot more detail, just tons of detail in your photo to play around with. So it's really easy to do. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and basically all I've done is open my three images, my three raw images in Photoshop and I have, have not done any edits to them. So as you can see, I have the underexposed, overexposed, and then the neutral. And I'm basically wanting to make this 32-bit image to bring out as much detail in these shadows as I can. Um, and that'll just make the, the rest of it just pop. So you'll see all of this and all of this. And uh, a 16-bit image will probably be able to do that, but I just want to test out a 32-bit image and see what that gives me. So uh, in order to do that, uh, we need to just go up to File, Automate, and then Merge to HDR Pro. And uh, since I already have the images open, all I gotta do is click Add Open Images, and it's just gonna take the three there, and click OK. And what Photoshop is gonna do is just run through its normal HDR processing. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so here we are, and as you can see, uh, I have it set to 32-bit mode. Uh, most likely yours will be set on 16. So if you have if it's set on 16, you're going to see this, and this is the normal HDR editor in Photoshop. But I don't care about that because I don't want to edit this in here. So I'm basically just going to click on 32-bit, and uh, if you slide this around, you're not going to get much of anything. So um, I'm just going to keep it as 32-bit, and I'm going to select uh, Tone in H in ACR, and that's going to create the file for me. Okay, so now this is my 32-bit HDR image, and it's still, you know, it's a very large image. So it opens it, it reopens it up in Camera Raw. So I'm just going to click, um, uh, let, you know, let's see what, what kind of edits we can get in, in Camera Raw. I thought about editing in, in Lightroom, which you'll still be able to get the same effect in Lightroom. But as you can see, watch, watch as I slide this over. Normally, your slider would stop at... Uh, you know, a plus five exposure and a, a negative five exposure, but I can go all the way up to 10. So that's the 32 bit uh, file there that I have. And you can see I have so much more detail up here. It doesn't look good, obviously, here, but I have so much more detail. So I'm just going to back that down to zero. So I'm going to take the shadows, I'm going to open those up a bit so we can definitely bring in that. And you can see how much more more detail we get, how much more dynamic range we can pull in from that. Uh, if you remember those photos, it's 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 so uh, it's so much of a change from this. And I could technically stop there if I wanted to, because it, it looks okay. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna edit it like I normally would. So I'm just gonna maybe crank up the vibrance a little bit, bring down the highlights to tone that down a little bit. We can even go crazy with the highlights and bring the sky back in if we wanted to. I do recognize that I have a little bit of ghosting here. I'm not really worried about that for this purpose, but um, you can just take that back down. I might even take the exposure down just a little bit and take the contrast up. So that's it. See that? See how easy that was? It was, uh, you know, doing no no editing in the HDR Pro and then opening it up in um, in Camera Raw and doing your edits. Uh, it, what you would normally do if you wanted to edit it in Lightroom and, and instead of in, uh, in Camera Raw and keep all your photos together, uh, you would just drag it into Lightroom and you have the same same editing here. You have the, you know, the 10, the plus 10 exposure, the negative 10 exposure. You have all those same same options. So it's the same thing. Um, just doing it in Photoshop, you know, it was already done for us. So uh, that's it. You basically just... Uh, Click OK, and it'll open it up in Photoshop. And there we go. We have our uh, final edited photo in, uh, in Photoshop. And you can compare it to these. And you can see that's the overexposed. Even the neutral exposure, you can tell the difference in there. You can just see how much more detail is out in this. And you actually get more detail 
uh, than you would even if you overexposed it. So you can see the difference it makes. And, uh, you know, if you really want to increase your dynamic range and you're, you're kind of doing a couple one-off photos, um, I definitely wouldn't reckon it, recommend this for a, a workflow. But doing it for a couple one-offs is, uh, is a, a really good way to increase your dynamic range. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Head on over to PictureMonk.com for other tutorials related to photography, Photoshop, Lightroom. We have a bunch of stuff over there. And uh, that's about it. I guess I will see you guys in the next video.